It's the new show they're all talking about. One of broadcasting's biggest rivalries. Nults and Krause, Motorsports, Statler and Waldorf. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Yeah. No driver or commentator is safe. The Saturday tear-up. You won't believe what happens next. I've always wanted to say that. Well, the sun's going down, the teams are tearing down, but we're tearing up here in pit lane at Queensland Raceway. What a day. I had to put the jeans back on because we're going to look semi-pro. It's good to have this guy back who's almost a semi-pro. Are we oh. just going to steer around no. the fact that two very good friends of mine absolutely stitched me up at Winton Raceway. My <laughs> colleague Greg Rust say, and my you... colleague Matt Nolte. I go away for one round. Well, we didn't think you'd come back. We thought you'd go to Le Mans, that'd be the end of it. We'd never see Crowley again. It, it, it's left mental scars um, that I'm <laughs> going to struggle to get by. As many mental scars as seeing your hot tub uh, <laughs> for the third or fourth time. As for Greg Rust, play the video. This is... <laughs> I went down that path. It's hard to stitch up the nicest man in motorsport, Matt, but a steering wheel falling off while you're driving is the only way. No. And if I had vision of you that I could actually use, I would go down that way as well. well anyway, I'm a man of mystery, so you would never find videos of me. It's really nice to be back here at the Shannon <laughs> Speed Series and tearing things up on a Saturday night. And what a Saturday it's been here at the Shannon Speed Series. An incredible day of racing with more to come tomorrow. But... It's, it's warm, we're in the middle of winter, the sun has been shining, it's been outstanding. And doesn't this place feel like a new house? And this pit building, the work that TQ's mm. done to it, it just, it feels so welcoming to be back here. But we talk about this being the tear up. How about Trans Am today oh, tearing oh. up? And Matty White and I had a bit of a betting poll going there, going how many cars do you think would be left? Well, we didn't think five would get well, taken I, out in the first lap. No, and you never want to see that kind of damage, no, do don't. you, in these kind of races, but... Uh, it, it shows you the level of sheep station that they're racing for in Trans Am at the moment because it is genuinely one of the most competitive series in the sport and when they're having battles like that it, it shows you how tough things can be and unfortunately sometimes things go awry but yeah Ben Grice you've got to feel for that bloke after the tear up literally at yeah. Simmons Plains at the start of the season and then again today man I don't know what that guy's got to do to have some luck go his way but gee what a rough day how are you feeling and what's your take on all this uh pretty pissed off like we've got 80 laps of racing to do here and um we get wrecked in corner five you know four so that team will be here all night hopefully we'll see that car out as for John Hollinger that car well we won't sit on the racetrack ever again it was a big enough hit there and sad because they've just bought the, the Grice car mm. so now they've got two cars running out of Hollinger Racing so hopefully we'll see the 03, not so the 23. From negative to a positive, we have some of, we think, the best news-breaking people in <laughs> yeah. our Stansport broadcast team. And one of those is Chris Stubbs, who today went and spoke to one of the goats of Australian touring car racing in Jamie Winkup and inadvertently got a bit of a scoop out of him. Play this tape. How much would you love to be over there? Uh, oh, for sure, for sure. Like he's um, he did a fantastic job in Chicago. Full credit to him. I absolutely get why he uh, why he wants to go abroad. But um, to finish off what I was saying, you yeah, were disrespecting his job this weekend. And then uh, obviously as a team, we'll make some announcements early next week on on what's going on from our side. Wow. So uh, how about our mate Chris Stubbs, without even trying, didn't even try, just slides in and gets a big breaking news story. All that time at Wimbledon, he's been cracking the, the big names over there in tennis. Turn five was big today. Turn three as well. Very few people could successfully negotiate it without going off. We had uh, Karen um, Danaher in the V8. Touring yep. cars fight it off there. A Porsche was wide off the road. Trans Am stuff, obviously, with that big accident we touched on earlier happened. And that crazy bit of road. Isn't it funny how such a simple little racetrack on paper <laughs> actually has massive com uh, consequence? Most tracks have crashes at turn one. This saves it for turn three. But it just shows mm. you how quick they're going here as well. Uh, what's the plan for tomorrow? What do we think? I think it's going to be another action-packed day. Mm. Uh, I was really, really impressed with the crowds today. They came out in cars. Apart yeah. from you, you and I, you know, we're race fans at heart. I mean, it's one of the rare chances we don't want to be in the commentary box. <laughs> we actually want to sit on the hill, but well done to Queensland. They come out and enjoyed a big day here at Queensland Raceway and the Speed Series is alive and kicking. I think there's been enough tear-ups today, both on and off the track. I think tomorrow we should have a clean day. I think it's going to be an amazing day. Uh, GT World Challenge, in all seriousness, the title fight there is 
beyond belief how close that is. The TCR battle is going to be really interesting. Can anyone catch Will Brown? Probably not, but it's going to be fun watching that out. Tony D'Alberto's in great form. I'd love to see Zach Suter back on the podium too. I thought he drove really well today. Yeah, three podiums now out of the last four races, so they've really cleared the gremlins out of that car. Thank you for your company today on no, the you. Shannon Speed thank Series. Thank you for coming back to our country. I'm just doing a wrap-up here. Oh, yeah, you okay, okay? On. Yeah, on the Shannon Speed Series, whether you're watching on 9Go or Stan Sport or via our extensively populated social media <laughs> channels. Uh, please join us tomorrow. We're on bright and early and a great broadcast with all the racing action live at break free and on demand on Stan Sports and follow us on socials. Hashtag Speed Series AU is the hashtag. Uh, that's been good. Uh, I've been Richard Crowell. He hasn't been. Uh, thanks to Paul the light holder and to Jordy the cameraman. And we'll see you tomorrow from Queensland Raceway.